So today, fucking, I hate when the game does that. I, uh, freelancer, every time I alt tap, there's just no sound anyway. Guys, welcome back to Freelancer. That's right. You guys are probably like, yo, what the fuck? Where has been, where where did the freelancer content go? Snake, right? I I've seen you play some Star Lancer. That's right. And I'm sorry for that. The lack of freelancer content has been gone ever since I pretty much kind of disappeared from Discovery, right? So um, here we are, though. Okay. Look, I wanted to do some like interesting content when it comes to a uh, freelancer so i've seen a rise of like a lot of freelancer mods lately okay and uh one of them being this one called b mod i think it's a balance mod um as far as i know i've seen like a twitch stream of the uh, developer uh i think something about like ship balances, capital ship balances. Uh, they also added a lot of stuff, uh, like like new bases, new uh, stations. Uh, just by what I've seen with uh, when I undocked in my star flyer, and they they were kind enough to let me, you know, be a beta tester of this, and um, you know, I immediately got it to run, but um. Obviously, I couldn't do a stream for a while because I was focused on other stuff. You guys already know all the incentives we were doing, the bit goals we had. So I really didn't have time to invest in these like mods and uh, other games I usually do. You know, uh, videos I usually do about. So, but we're, we're, without talking a lot, you know, we're talking too much. What the fuck, man? Let's get right into it. Yo guys, welcome to Freelancer B Mod. Let's jump right into it. Let's see what's different, what this game offers. And Damn, well already mid space. If I remember correctly, I did not change my controls at all. Yes, these are all Bro, oh, why are the sound effects so loud? man what the hell okay anyway um let me so so as you can see right off the bat we undocked from planet denver which is interesting and we got the aurora salvage yards right so this one is also using the uh freelancer hd hud I don't know if you guys have tried it out. A Freelancer HD mod is really dope. You guys should try it out. I did like a stream a couple months ago and the game just crashed. Wow. So the first thing I've noticed immediately is the ping is at 157. And uh... So I'm guessing American servers. Yo, we haven't seen that since like the old Discovery GC server. You remember, remember that? And it crashed again. What the fuck? Well, the game kept crashing on me. But um, let's see if the campaign at least works. I think this only happened when I joined the server. And my guess is, so here's the problem. See, uh, I don't know if Discovery uses the same tactics for update. But um, some of these mods, uh, unintentionally, you know, doesn't matter really. Um, some of them have an updater installed because of obviously how the freelancer engine and all that works and like its limitations. Uh, they have direct direct access to your fucking um, data, and they can update stuff like directly from the host right the developer they put an auto updater in there so like the developer could you know um immediately like auto update whenever you launch the game it would like auto update it so here's the problem the the thought behind it is obviously genuine nice but um this also opens uh you know for a lot of trouble when the developers 
decides to go rogue. Now, I'm not saying this one would be or whatever, I'm not accusing of anyone, but if they start to change some lines of code in your fucking, you know what I mean, um, file, then they could get some, like, you know, private data from you, which is a little bit uh, sus. I understand that's, that is how f fucking freelancer sadly works, and, um, like, like, how updates are done, and I know some said, well, other game games do that too, but, um, I'm just saying, because of that, obviously, I disabled, um, some lines of that auto-update code so like that he couldn't i had i would have to pull data myself the updates myself instead of it up out updating it this could be why it crashes on the multiplayer server i'm just saying or obs obs has been an ass too okay obs has been an asshole with all that but i hope we can play it on single player i hope at least like we can you know what i mean um we can experience this here that's my my hope you know so we are in manhattan uh not a denver anymore as i said uh and also i don't know i think uh, that's how discovery does shit too like it's updates and all that because obviously people some people don't know better and also the engine you know uh, with whatever but uh, at the time i remember ali talking about some you know um potential issues and like if private data is being stolen from you uh, especially at least in, in europe i don't know obviously in america it's a little bit more tricky in europe you could sue them if they try anything you know and uh, that's literally in their power so i'm just saying be aware of that and uh, so whenever they pull an update, they could change some line of code and immediately get access to your server because you are giving them literally access. Okay, what is this? All right, here we go. Wasp cruise detector mine, E mine, Razor EMP. Oh shit, okay. Uh, cutter mine, Wardog EMP. I don't have enough credits, obviously. Is there like a gift cash? Let's see. It, oh, there is? Okay. Let's get ourselves some crash. And, um... I mean, we're kind of limited on what we can update here. Um... But... Ooh, there we go. The first... No, that's... Ooh, shit. Yo, a liberty... Libertized civilian ship. CT. And the rogue heavy fighter. Yeah, that actually looks sick. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I didn't know they added, like, new, um ships as well i guess there are new ships in this game uh also check this out i think this ain't primary missile auxiliary mounts i think that's like not vanilla that is different uh we got four primaries one missile one auxiliary mount uh i guess let's just go through the ships right um civilian power plant light fighter power plant interesting so they're using the power plant system. That that's something that uh, Crossfire used to do uh, back in the day. And if you if you fuck that up, you couldn't undock and shit like that. So I don't know how this one works, but uh, let's just go for it. Let's go for the rogue fighter. And I guess the textures just don't exist. Three? That's interesting. Wait a second. Three times gunslinger turret. Medium. And ballistic. Are those like battleship turrets? Is that what I'm... Weird. So I'm actually curious. Is the model... No, okay. If you undock, the model is there. Ah. Cool, cool. Bro, is there no afterburners? I'm like having troubles... Who's after waiting to tab? I, I do tab. Well, I have no none equipped, I guess. Right? Yeah, no thruster. Nice, bro. Okay. Yeah, let's go equip some thrusters. So I just realized something here, by the way. I also, I bought the um, Liberty version 
of a civilian fighter, the Falcon. Uh, we have medium energy weapon, large energy weapon, small missile weapon, small missile weapon, medium missile weapon, uh, medium ballistic weapon, omni weapon slot, and cruise disruptor. That's actually interesting. So they're gonna force you on like what type of weapon you can use and I guess like on Rhineland you're gonna have like plasma weaponry right turrets so I don't know if that is maybe, maybe I can oh there we go see light AC ballistic SRM medium missile right we got one medium missile actually uh, yeah medium ballistic there we go small missile weapons those are not ballistic, right? So, okay, let's see what else we have. Uh, still no turret slots though, that's a little weird. Omni weapon slot, I'm guessing Omni weapon should allow me to... Uh, oh, I wish they would have had like two mine, mine slots so you could like go actually EMP and regular, right? But uh, this one does like 10k damage, holy shit. Let me try that out. Um, lost cruise disruptor. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we'll find some more weapons outside. You know what I mean? Oh, there's a better countermeasure. Let me actually get the countermeasure three. There we go. What was the name of that? Fighting Falcon. Reclaimed over, over heavy fighter. Okay, Falk 16C. Based on a regular Falcon underneath its skin, this version design designated as a as the Fighting Falcon is the result of countless hours spent tuning the generic civilian fighter to personal specifications. A slight increase in mass adds marginally to the ship's turning circle, but in exchange, the extra space is used to upgrade the power plant and engine, increasing energy capacity, regeneration, and the ship's top speed. The ballistic hardpoint of the original Falcon is downsized to make room for one of the medium energy slots to be upgraded into a large, letting the Fighter Falcon wield a PPC or L laser without sacrificing the damage potential of a full suit of primary blasters. An upgraded layer of armor boosts the hull's protect protection without sacrificing much in the way of weight. The homemade result of talented metallurgy, I guess that's how you pronounce it and smithing that that has melted down liberty navy ship panels and reformed them into a reclaimed second skin a couple salvage panels have been bolted onto the sides of their original navy insignias left intact reminding would-be opponents exactly who the parts of this refurbished ship were claimed from yo i actually i actually like the uh, inf info cards uh nice targeting equipment this is a fighter shield is it now this doesn't look like one anyway all right so we got the fuck i just accidentally dropped five mines yo that's like a fucking web web of mines it just oh and you can't destroy mines weird so let's just Wait, it doesn't... Oh, by the way, uh, right off the bat, speed. Look at the speed, 200. I'm going with 300 in regular impulse speed. And I fucking love that for fighters. You know what I mean? And then you go... Th and then you do thrusters. I don't know. Thrusters don't do shit. I mean, thrusters... What the fuck? What happened to my EMP mines? Well, the mines disappeared. Okay, I don't know what the hell happened there, but, um, anyway. SRM launcher, let's see. Okay, so that, I guess that's a... I think that's a small range missile launcher. And then we got a medium... The fuck was that? What the hell? Let me see. No impact explosion? Alright, okay. Medium, that's... What was that again? Medium... 
Uh, medium ballistic. So my guess is those are just, yeah, projectile weapons. I thought I thought that was gonna be like an actual missile. Maybe I, I misread it. Medium ballistic. Okay, ballistic weapon. It says ballistic weapon. Yeah. So my guess is uh, this is gonna use a little bit of a, uh, you know, energies, take down shield, and then go fucking. You know what I mean? Uh, ballistic and uh, missiles, right? But I guess. All right. Let's see how the uh, trade lanes perform. That was actually a really smooth transition, like a smooth uh, dock. You know what I mean? <coughs> I don't know if you guys see it, but there you go. EM razors, countermeasure droppers. Got some of them. Let's just check uh, if different stations, you know, what kind of ships we're going to see. But I want to see the, hold on, I want to see the, the m mines. Oh, I already dropped all of them. What the fuck? Okay. That still works like the uh, original. Right. So, are there quick docks? Moment of truth. I never. I didn't try. What was the uh, en shift engine kill? Was there no engine kill? curious engine kill Z oh. okay so there is engine kill is this using vanilla freelancer uh, like is there no straving strave up down never mind okay that this has three that's cool might as well you know what I mean? Might as well. We're not using increased throttle with uh, keys. We use fucking the mouse controls. Alright. I'm not... Yeah, I didn't see um, a moor. I mean, I, I could have probably guessed where the moors are, but... Um, I guess it's just a regular docking sequence. No ships, but maybe... Alright. So, these are small energy, right? And... Oh, I think now these can be added as Omni weapons. Because I think that this one allows you to, like, do your own setup, I guess, if you want more energy, if you want more ballistic, whatever. I actually like that. It's actually a nice small addition. Uh, javelin is a small energy. Wait, huh? Interesting. No. Let's just try it. I mean, we already saw the other ones. Uh, we saw justice. We let's no. see some lava blades but here's the thing it says small missile weapons but i can't find the small missile weapons man weird um i would have loved to try civilian heavy fighter power plant oh i think you can, i can i guess some stations have like different type of power plants i know i i read it on the what the fuck is going on with my green screen? Okay, okay, that was a little weird. I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, OBS has been fucking up lately. Whatever. Anyway. Um, so, we got that armor. I actually want to buy some mines if that's possible. You know? There's no EM Razor Missile Type 169427, you know what I mean? It's just not possible, it's not, just not available in this station. Alright, let's see what these babies do. Alright, regular, pretty, pretty regular, pretty regular. Right. Now, let's see the Javelin Missile. So, what's the difference between an SRM launcher 
And those missiles. It's actually weird. This feels like... This feels like this is built a little bit more on top of missiles. You know what I mean? It has, or, or I don't know. It has like a lot of... Uh, um, projectile weapons. Missile, missile, missile weaponry. You know what I mean? That kind of shit. Let me go to a different station and see what kind of ships we can get. Actually, it would be more interesting if I could buy a battleship. Because I, if I remember correctly, I heard that there also is... There are battleships and there's a balance on the battleships. So I, might be, I might have heard it wrong. I don't, I don't know. But um, I, I thought that was a thing. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, I don't see any ships in here. So I'm guessing for now the sh battleships are maybe they're planned. Could be they could be planned. So a whole rebalance on that. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where to find. Uh, maybe that's why the Denver planet was supposed to be. Is there? I wonder. Is there like an Ethel Hook command for Denver? I forgot what the command was. Was it system? System Denver Shit, was it like location? What the hell was it? Alright, we're gonna try the system Yep, okay, it does have that Yo, did they change the background, like the landscape? Systemscape? Sky, whatever you the fuck call it, okay? Alright See if we can get some Valkyries Yo, okay, thrusters are... The advanced thruster drains a lot. Really quick. Well, maybe there's like some actual distinction now between thrusters, you know? That would be nice. Hold on, let me just see about weapons. Oh! Wait a second! Was I not able to... You must be level 20... Bro, get you. How do I level up? Where's my level? Level. Level? <laughs> you know, usually, if you do single player, you, you cash up. You actually level up with the amount of cash you get. But, um, it doesn't look like I can get it here. Uh, so, I'm actually curious. Did they actually fix the power plant issue? So, like, like different, um, different factions can't buy, you know what I mean, each other's weaponry, whatever. With power plants? Is that like, if you have a Rhineland power plant... I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass, like, guessing. Okay, I'm just guessing at this point. Um, so if you have a Rhineland power plant, you can buy these weapons. But if you don't have a Rhineland power plant, you're, like, limited to civilian... Whatever is access to civilian stuff, right? And if you have a Liberty plant, I guess, power plant, um, you could... You know? Um... It, now, interesting thing would be if this was also like rep, rep related. So, like, let's see if you if you are if your if your reputation is good with the Liberty Security Force, you're you can buy this, right? And when your reputation is low, maybe the power plant doesn't work properly. I don't know what whatever, right? I mean, you could. I mean, that's kind of a neat idea, right? With power plants, so you'd have to. If you want to use a different ship with Liberty equipment, you would need to be good, right, rep-wise, with uh, Liberty or whatever, Rhineland, and then you can buy the power plant. And, you know what I mean? But, but I mean, the B-Mod isn't too concerned about that, I think, faction difference. And it's just, just, just as a uh, rebalance, right? It's a rebalance mod. Stealth play turret, I'm going to... Light turret miss missile? 
Why is that a missile slot? Interesting. Okay. Well, there isn't much I can do here. Like, I can't buy a different ship. I can level up. But, I mean... What else is there to see? Actually, let's check out controls. Maybe, like, there's, like, a different, you know, control scheme for this. Uh, I don't see a huge change in here. Shield, previous display, current objective. Uh, multiplayer. Group in my, yeah, no, it's just still the same. Yeah, I don't see much point in like. Actually, hold on, let's, let's. There's one more thing we can test, and that is the NPCs. Please stop moving. Oh my god, they're so fast. Well, I, I can't fight with if I don't have my old uh, control scheme, man. This is gonna be a little, yeah, let's see. Actually, I need a fighter. I'm not doing any damage. What the hell? Yo, what the hell was that? Yo, did you see that? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna suck at this, but that's fine. Oh, those are countermeasures. Holy shit. Okay, I can't do any damage though. Oh my god. They can't damage me either. Oh, do I have like a... Why can they not attack me? Like, do any damage to me? I can't do any damage to them either. Yeah, well... Uh... Oh, yeah. One more test. Cruise Disruptor. Okay, I think those are good. Oh, wait, wait, their own mines actually did some damage. Something happened. Holy shit, those effects. Alright, well... <laughs> this is stupid. Actually, let me go to um, Omicrons. Omicron. Or was it unknown? Unknown, right? Oh, here we go. Actually, hold on. System New London. System London. Uh, jump. There we go. I just want to see um, if we can buy some ships here at least. You know what I mean? Let's see. Because. Uh, I mean, at this point, if that's it, we're, like, locked on the Brito uh, Libertonian ships. Liberty ships. Oh, there we go. We can buy a Piranha. Oh, there you go. Civilian power plant. Oh, now we have a bounty on a power plant. That's what I'm, like, curious about now. Is we got medium missiles now. Medium missile slots. By the way, this is a light fighter. What the hell are these textures, man? Is it using old feelings? That was weird. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see how the, um... Piranha actually performs. God, I love the bounty on the ships. I don't know why, man, but the bounty on the ships... Such a neat design. Mm -hmm. They have a little bit of banking. I don't know if that's, like, from the original. I don't know if they actually changed anything from that. I don't think so. Because, like, banking doesn't really do much to, like... Hitbox-wise, I don't know. I don't remember. If, like, if... I don't know if banking actually... Like, banking is this. Like, if your ship goes... You know what I mean? Like this. And I don't know if that actually does affect, like, hitboxes when some someone is shooting at you. Should be, but I don't know. I don't remember if that was, like... Also, let's try out cruise. Sorry, I didn't even check cruise. So we were going 300, and now we're going 500. Yo. Yo, we, we, we are cruising, dude. Actually, 500 speed is great. 
I'm actually glad they increased the speed of this. You know, the game has been uh, game has been a little bit slow. That's what I'm saying. And there, there are slower games. You know me, when I play EVE Online, it's the fucking slowest game ever. But, uh, I like this. Um, system... Tokyo. Just one last check. Uh, okay. All right, I think there's gonna be a little bit of playground here. Stuff we have to check out. I have to obviously rebuy my controls and probably have to, um, you know, get the newest updates, right? After like... Yo, wait a second. We're going reverse speed with 60. Bro, that was the AI drone back in the days in Discovery and I fucking love that because you could be like this bam 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 right and then uh, hold on you do uh, this and then you go backwards you could box right um, that was actually cool I mean it's not like it's gonna be used in probably most duels. You're probably just gonna do dog fights, uh, but like you know, you know what I mean. Just fucking aiming at your edge of the speed. Probably do some some like engine killing and stuff. But all in all, it's cool that they added that. I'm actually glad. Reverse speed 60 or is that vanilla? I don't know. Anyways, you know what? Hold on a second. Let me get to a station real quick. All right. Well, anyways, guys, that was a first look into the beam. I'm calling this a first look, not an impression, because uh, we didn't really get to test much. Their test server is also capped at 16 players, and I don't know if they're like increasing that or like uh, uh, weekly events. I did. You can join their Discord, as far as I'm aware. Uh, by the way, my good good friend Milo is in there too i'm actually glad that they're you know old aftermath devs uh that i used to like be around with and work with uh i'm glad they're that they're still out there kicking doing something you know doing some new stuff so uh be sure to check that out i'm gonna ask if i can link the discord in the description it might not be on the initial video uh but let's see if they respond to me and they're like yeah sure you can share share it i'll add it on the uh, actually comment section first comment and I'll add it in the description okay so you can ask and join and check out the mod okay guys thanks so much for watching though uh, do not forget to subscribe and uh, as always we are live on twitch too sometimes although I'm taking a break right now okay right now I'm taking a break so I might stream on YouTube I don't know but right now I'm doing videos okay but anyways guys thanks so much I'll see you on the next stream. Next stream. What the fuck am I talking about? Next video. Just go. Just leave the fucking video, bro. You know what I mean? It's not even...